I'm Dr. Sarah Brown David, a licensed clinical psychologist. How do we know what's normal right now and what's not regarding our mental health? This is a question so many of us are asking ourselves right now as we're dealing with a COVID-19 crisis. As Americans, we're experiencing a significant and sustained increase in depression and anxiety and fear. And while fear is a normal response to perceived threat, it is not a response that is meant to be experienced long-term. It's meant to be temporary to deal with a immediate event. It's not meant to be experienced days, weeks, and months like we currently are with the COVID-19 crisis. When fear becomes chronic, so does the flight or fight response. And this can create anxiety, ongoing stress, depression, suicidality. People may begin to feel irritable, angry, anxious, exhausted, hypervigilant. All of these things increase the likelihood of feeling anxiety and depression. There's some things we can do to combat that. One of the things is we can reach out to a therapist. Right now, most therapists are seeing clients via video, video conferencing, which makes it very easy to access. Another thing we can do is make sure we keep moving and exercising, even if it's just going for walks or doing yard work, anything like that will help. We can reach out to the people that are our social network, our friends and family via technology, and we can structure our day in a way that we feel purposeful and maintain some sense of normalcy.